Hi everybody, I'm Ski with Pete. Today we're going to be looking at a pair of a Ricoh 3.0 USB hubs. We've got a mini unpowered and a aluminum powered. It's a big, bigger one. Uh, let's take a look. Okay, the first thing to say about this before I get into it is exactly what the difference is between an unpowered and a powered hub. All right, it goes like this. If you've got something that's unpowered that draws a lot of power, and a great example of that is a small hard drive. This is a one terabyte hard drive that I've got, a portable hard drive. Then what you need for that is this, which is a powered USB hub. The reason is that this powered will drive enough power to this for you to be able to use it. Now, if you had a different, if you had a different type of USB device, say a powered USB device like this hard drive, which is a powered hard drive, look at the size of it, then the type of hub you need for that is this. It's an unpowered hub because it's already got its own power. And this supports little things like keyboards and mice, but you don't really need USB 3.0 for that. But all I'm saying is if you buy a little hub like this, this will do fine for your mouse, keyboard, and for powered things like this hard drive. If you have other things like webcams and unpowered hard drives, then you're going to need something like this. So let's get inside and take a look at these two different USB hubs and see what they're all about. Okay, first up we have the Ultra Mini USB 3 four port hub. This says it's a four port, adds three, sorry, adds four USB 3 five gigabyte ports to your laptop or tablet. Laptop or tablet? Wait a sec. Does this use USB-C or what? Let's find out. No, so that was a bit of an overclaim. It's not really for your tablet because that's a full size plug. The only other thing in the box is their card. Nothing else. All that you get is this USB 3 hub. I'm not going to do a speed test today, but you can see it goes one, two, three, and four. That's it. Not much else to say about this. If you need an unpowered hub, check this one out from Mariko. Okay, on to the bigger and probably more expensive aluminum USB 3 hub. Oh, that's a big Nelly. That's a big Nelly of a power brick there. Okay, so this is gonna this is gonna pump out some real power here. Oh, actually, it's a 12 volt three amp. Wow, 12 volt three amp. That is some power. Uh, it's got this USB A to A cable which is USB 3 on both ends. So that's how we're gonna connect to the hub itself. And then of course the hub itself is right here. Okay, first thing to say is, this is obviously trying to look in the design spirit of Apple. This is trying to look like the Apple keyboard. You know the one I'm talking about. Cause look at it, look at the side of it. That's what it's trying to look like. I mean, obviously. But it's definitely a nice looking thing. So what you do is I assume this is going to be your input over here like that. This is going to be your power over here like this. Again, I, as I said at the start, you know, I, I do love a Rico, but this design is pretty, is pretty poor. Look, it, it's like sleek and like this. But in order to power it and to connect it to your computer, you need to widen it like this, which is kind of gross and disgusting. What would have been better is if you designed it so that it all remained inside this compact look like this. So if you had the power coming out the back like that, then it, it would have remained in this sort of, it would have remained contained, uh, but instead, Instead, this is gonna take up quite a lot of desktop real estate. Of course, if you have the desktop real estate, maybe you've got a monitor or something with space underneath it, then that would be perfect. It'll give you nice, quick, easy access to all of these USB ports. 
USB 3 powered with 12 volt. This thing will probably charge stuff too. I'm excited to I'm excited to have this and to add it to my thing, but the design is a little. Look, th let's be honest. This is pretty cool, and I will probably use it. If you're looking for a USB 3 hub, whether you need powered or unpowered, a couple cool options from Arico. Thanks very much to Arico for sending these through for my review. If you have any comments, post them in the comment section below. If you have any questions, you can post them there too. Don't forget to press like, don't forget to press subscribe, and if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so through Patreon or buying me a cup of coffee in the About section. Of course, check in the About section for relevant links to this and everything else that's on the desk. Thanks again to everybody who tuned in today, guys. Don't forget to press like, don't forget to press subscribe. If you want one of these USB 3 powered, powered or unpowered hubs, you can, of course, check in the About section below and you'll be able to pick those up. Thanks again to everybody who tuned in today, guys. Looking forward to seeing you back again soon.